my name is Uluwatu Sanla Jumaki Arududu for Shirts. And in this video, I want to talk about something very, very, um, a bit uh, complex or a bit um, technical or what? Is that the right English? Yeah, something a bit complex and something that people, many people don't really pay attention to or love to talk about. And it is for people who are coming, who have received, you know, a mandate or an assignment or they've gotten a divine idea to start up something new and at the verge of starting those things you begin to experience some obstacles obstructions and some strongholds and you know it's very demoralizing when you find yourself in such a, a space but i want to encourage you that whatever it is that the lord has committed into your hands don't look left right or center don't look at people's faces don't listen to depressing or negative opinions in order for you to become to develop apathy towards those things because the strategy of the enemy and these are part of my experiences the strategy of the enemy is to um raise voices most especially if what you're doing if the vision that has been committed into your hands is going to affect a lot of lives positively so he raises voices to begin to talk in a negative manner into your ears around you Agents, you know, agents will be raised in order to say negative things, in order to, to downgrade whatever it is you're doing, in order to make you feel as if it's inconsequential, in order to make you feel that what you're doing is not relevant. You know, you begin to hear a whole lot of things. And if you're not, if you don't have a stubborn mindset, if you don't have a solid mindset, rather, let me use the word solid so that you can understand it better because people might perceive, some people will perceive stubborn as being negative. But the truth is that, you know, that mindset helps a whole lot. That strong will, it helps you to navigate this, this thing called life. If you're not, if you don't have a strong will, then... You can't really do anything successfully and see it to the end because obstacles will arise. Sometimes it will be from the people that are around you, your family, the people that you some of your friends, acquaintances, the, anybody can just rise up as a stronghold. And before you know it, you might throw in the towel and run away. Then people who love what you're doing, they might just start to criticize you. They don't have the opportunity to do those things that you're doing yet. So they begin to criticize you in order to demoralize or to quench the fire and the passion that you carry. And this is why whatever it is that you're doing, once you're sure that this is the path that I have to follow, you have to stand solidly rooted. I'm not just physically alone, even in prayers. These are the things that will help you. These are the tools and strategies that will help you to stand the test of time. Because if you don't go through this season, stand the test of time and pass, then you're not going to be promoted into the next season in that vision, calling or assignment. So be very, very careful and beware. Some of your critics are people who love what you're doing and they would love to be the ones that are doing it. I've experienced these things before. I've seen people who criticized me in the past on something that I'm doing, made me feel that my voice was inconsequential. So they are doing exactly the same thing. And, you know, it, I, I smile, I laugh, and, I, and I'm like, thank you, Jesus, that I didn't throw in the towel when I was doing my own thing, that I didn't allow these people to veer me off track. So some of your critics are manipulative critic. critics, and their intention is to veer you off track so that they can stand in those places. So you have to be intentional. You have to be confident. You have to stand solidly and build your trust in Christ Jesus so that you can continue to persevere and remain persistent in that vision or that assignment that God has committed into your hands. Because the truth is that <laughs> the, race, the race is not to the swift or, or, or to the one who knows how to do its best, but, to, but for God who showeth mercy. So it is not of him that we let no, him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. So we have to be very careful and vigilant as visionaries. Understand that there are lots of people who are criticizing you because they want to be the ones that are wearing the shoes that you're wearing. So you have to operate in, you have to be vigilant. You have to be solidly rooted in Christ Jesus. You have to be discerning, understand the voices that are speaking around you and into your life part time. Because, you know, this, when it comes to vision, it is very technical. There are a lot of strong goals that are surround that surrounds it. As God is releasing you into a vision or a purposeful path, the devil is also releasing strong goals that will stop you from, you know, following that path. So you have to be discerning and you have to be vigilant. Understand that. Understand voices part time. 
so that you can pick the right voices that are there to guide you in form of positive or uh, constructive criticism you learn from them and you're able to understand the destructive or stylishly manipulative criticism so that they don't veer you up track and take your place because the truth is that some of these people they want to veer you up track kill your passion then they will wear that same shoes that you have decided to remove as a result of fear and you know uh maybe the fear and uh, the, the 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 fact that your passion has waned due to the things that you have heard. May that, may that not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So stand solidly rooted. Don't be deterred. Don't be afraid. If God has committed that vision into your hands, be very assured that he will see it to the end if you do not give up. God needs your courage for him to walk through you. If you study the book of Joshua, you would see that God kept telling Joshua to be courageous, be of good courage. Why? Because God needs our courage to do some of the great things that he wants to do through us. So in 2024, stand in a place of courage and confidence and continue to show up and show, show out in your assignments. And I pray for you that the Lord will help you. It will, you know, make every crooked path straight and it will make the journey easy for you in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. If you have been blessed by this video, please share. Let other people be blessed too. And check out the channel. There are lots of videos that can also bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Take good care of yourself. Bye.